Hey folks, uh, this will get you ready for your unit circle quiz on module 18 in our integrated math 3 class. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's convert uh, from degrees to radian measure. Okay, so this is where we multiply by pi over 180. Okay, so the only thing that cancels is the degree and the zero. So 7 pi over, uh, over 18 is our answer. Okay, same thing here. Multiply it times pi over 180. <clears throat> I know 5 goes into those uh, that many times, and then, uh, let's see, 189, 9 goes into this, and 9 goes into this, so we can divide those down by 9, and we get negative 21 pi over 4, okay? All right, let's do the, the other way, convert from radian to degrees, okay? So here it is in radian, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, 180 over pi. Okay, the pi's cancel, and 18 goes into 180 10 times, so 330 degrees. Same thing, multiply by pi, or 180 over pi. All right, the pi's cancel, 9 goes into 18 20 times, so negative 460 degrees. Okay, so without using a calculator, evaluate the trig functions. Okay, so the tangent of 480. Okay, 480 is the same as 360 plus 20. Okay, well, 360 is a complete circle. Did I say plus 20 plus 120? So we can wipe out that because we're starting over with 120 degree angle. So the tan of 480 is the same as the tan of 120. Well, the 120 is over here in quadrant 2 where only sine is positive. The tangent is negative. Okay. So remember, cosine goes uh, 3, 2, 1, and then um, uh, sine goes 1, 2, 3. Okay. So cosine pattern is root 3 over 2, root 2 over 2, root 1 over 2, which is just 1 over 2. Sine is 1 over 2, root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2. Okay. They're always written as cosine comma sine. So this, uh, uh, the values up here are going to be um, uh, negative root 3 over 2 comma positive 1 half. Okay. That's the ordered pairs that uh, represents this um, 120 degree angle right there. So now we're going to put this sine over cosine over here. So sine over cosine gets us that, invert and multiply. And then um, that gets us that when we invert and multiply. And then the twos cancel. Now we got to multiply by root 3 over root 3. So we get negative root 3 over 3. Okay. All right. Okay, the cosine of negative pi over 2. Well, negative pi over 2 is a clockwise degree angle, so it's right here. This has the ordered pairs down there at 0, negative 1. This is cosine, this is sine, so we're looking for cosine. This guy equals 0 right there. Okay, how about this? Negative 16 pi over 3. There's two or three correct ways to do this. I'm going to choose to do it like this. Negative 15 pi over 3 plus a negative 1 pi over 3. Now, negative means we're doing clockwise degree angles. All right, so this is negative 5 pi plus negative uh, pi over 3. Let's do the negative 5 pi. So here's negative 1 pi. Here's negative 2 pi. Here's negative 3 pi. Here's negative 4 pi. Here's negative 5 pi. So when we still go an additional negative pi over 3. That's going to take us right there. Okay, so cosine goes 3, 2, 1. Sine goes 1, 2, 3. And this is all students take calculus. So the sine is positive, so it's going to be a positive one half up there, okay? Or did it say cosine or sine? Uh, one, two, oh, sorry. Gosh, I get mixed up too. Root three over two, root two over two, one over two, and then sine goes one over two, root two over two, root three over two. So that would be this one, this angle right here, and finally this angle. So it's root three over two. So. Anyways, okay, so using your calculator, round to three decimal places, okay? I should have said round to the thousands, but your quiz will say three decimal places. So just trying to be consistent. Okay, right here between pi over 2 and pi, this is quadrant 2 right there, okay? So quadrant 2 tells us that only sine is positive, cosine is negative. Okay, so from uh, yesterday's lesson or last Friday's lesson, I'm um, sorry, Remember, uh, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, so so uh, cosine squared equals 1 minus sine squared, so the cosine of theta is plus or minus 1 minus the sine squared of theta. Okay, and we want the minus part because we're in quadrant 2. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the minus part, and so it's going to be 1 minus, I don't know why I have a negative right there, it shouldn't be a negative, let me take that out, that should be a positive right there. Uh, so it's 1 minus this sine value right there, and so when I plug that into the calculator, um, I get the cosine to be about uh, a, a negative 0.950, uh, okay? 
All right, hope that makes sense right there while I'm typing in there. Okay, let's do the same. So here cosine is negative 0.489. This right here says between pi to 3 pi over 2. This is quadrant 3. Quadrant 3, tangent's positive. Sine and cosine are negative, okay? So only tangent is positive. So here's sine, so we got to get sine so we can do sine over cosine to get tangent, okay? So let's plug that in. And so here's our sine when we crank that out on our calculator. So tangent is sine over cosine. So a negative divided by a negative gets us a positive 1.783. All right, so determine the sine and cosine round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so this says that the tangent equals that. Where it looks like we're in quadrant four because it's going from three pi over two to two pi. All right, so uh, remember sine is or tangent is sine over cosine. So if we multiply both sides by cosine, cosine, we get sine equals cosine times tangent. Yeah, I'm at school. It's at lunch. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute that in right there where the tangent is and put it in front of the cosine right there. Okay, and then do you remember sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1? So if this is sine of theta and it equals this, let's substitute that in there and square it. Okay, so there it is right there. And when we square it, we get that. And then we can combine like terms now. So 20.9764 plus 1.9764 gets us 21.9764 cosine squared. Okay, divide by the 21 and stuff. And then now we square root both sides, okay? So when we square root both sides, remember we're in quadrant four, so we want the positive part of it. We don't need to worry about the negative part, okay? So, so we can get rid of the negative part, so there's the cosine of theta. All right, so let's plug this right in right here, and that'll give us the sine of theta, okay? So plug that in. And then there we go, there's the sine of theta. Okay, all right, our, our textbook doesn't have good review assignments that match up with your they have some, just not everything. This lesson covers everything, but there's some more that will help you get uh, ready for the quiz. Hope that makes sense. Take care.